Yo guys, what is up? This is Nick. We are back on Fallout New Vegas. We are still on our way to Novak. So far away. They could have named it after Novak Djokovic, or they could have named it after Nick Novak. Who knows which one? Who knows why they named it Novak? But no. Uh, so we're back. Episode 3. I don't know how well I'm doing time-wise so far. Like, I don't know if I'm ahead of where you should be at Episode 2. Or episode 3. I guess you would be ahead because I skipped the Sunny Smiles tutorial thing. But, the real question is... I'm pretty sure I'm just going at normal speed. Because I did search some shit that probably could have not had searched. But there's like no enemies. Literally like no enemies in the wasteland here. Like the only... I've seen some flies, bloat flies. And I've seen some big horners and that's it. And the big hoarders aren't even hostile until you shoot them. So this is... It's pretty boring to go across the wasteland here because there is just no enemies to fight. Like, I'd live with it if a Deathclaw just came out of nowhere and destroyed me. I'd be okay with that. Why won't it let me jump? There we go. Trying to get down a little faster by jumping. I'm just going over here to get the uh, free 10 experience. We're not going to explore it, I just want the free 10 experience. Dun -dun. I have to, I think I have to get the end, to, in order to get the dog to join me when we get to that point, I've been kind of thinking, I think you have to, okay there we go, 11 experience, but I think you have to, um, you gotta do the. You gotta not get in a fight with the dude, the head guy for of that mission. You can't like kill him because then the dog becomes hostile. You gotta get him to give it to you. Uh, I believe. So again, I sit here and I can always be wrong. I could be wrong about this, but I think I'm right. Oh yes, Novak is the town with the dinosaur, and the dude up top. Black Mountain radio signal. Isn't Black Mountain where the bunch of mute super mutants are? I think that's where. I think that's what's up there. Oh my god, they need a sprint button in Fallout. Or a, a, even a bike. Doesn't need to be a motorcycle or a car or anything. Just a bike. And my game is getting dis- it's not even- I can't even call it disc lag, because this is installed on my Xbox. It's not even- I don't even have the disc for Fallout New Vegas. I just have it installed. I just bought it off the- actually, I think it was free one month. I think that's how I got it. For some reason, I think it's free. It was free. Who am I looking for here? I'm just in Novak. I don't know who I'm here to find. Um, what the hell? It just wants me to be at this... What? Okay, head to Novak, ask around. Oh, just ask around. Just ask anybody and everybody. Who sent you? I ain't talking. They tried to get me to talk before, but I didn't say nothing. And I don't aim to now, by gum. Uh, uh yeah, you're gonna talk, buddy. I'll give up. Please don't do no harm to me, missy. At least the way it's not in my face. All I got left is my rugged good looks. What do you want to know? Um, I'm looking for a man in a checkered coat. Have you seen anyone? Sure have. Camouflage, that coat was. Trying to hide from extraterrestrials what can only see in black and white checkers. <laughs> but they're not fooled, because he forgot to put checkers on his face. I told him so, and he seemed to take it to heart. They stayed here a night, and was up by the dinosaur, talking to the sniper fellow with the mustache a couple of times. Alrighty, thank you. If anyone asks, we never spoke. Okay, let's go talk to Manny Vargas. Open the gates. Head up into the dinosaur. I think there's a bunch of shit in here that you can steal. It's worth some, not much money, but it's worth a little bit. Uh, but this, 
this little douche McGruber is in here, so I can't. Welcome Cliff. to the Dino. Cliff, I just want to see what you got to sell. I want to just want to see sure what you have for sale. You have, have guns, you lying sack of shit. Um. Okay, I'm not selling any of this stuff. I don't actually have anything to sell. I haven't looted anybody because there's nothing in the wasteland to fight. I don't need any of that. I'll take the 22s. Take the 556 five, just for later. Oh, that's a ton of 9mm ammo. I'll take that. Take the energy cell ammo. I'll take the microfusion. Okay, what gun am I not using that I can sell? I'm not using 10mm rounds, so. I don't know. I don't really want to use the 9mm submachine gun either yet. I don't have that much 9mm ammo. It really doesn't deal that much damage anyway. I can sell the knife. Because those are worth so much. I'm just going to sell these throwing spears. I don't need them. Um, okay, I think that'll, that'll do, maybe. Is there any of this I need to sell? Uh, nah. Yeah. okay. Thanks, bro. Let's go up and talk to the sniper. Alright, Manny. What's going on, man? Looking for a man in a checkered coat. Sure I know him. What do you want with him? I have a score to settle. Doesn't surprise me. Guy seemed like he'd do whatever it takes to get what he wants. Probably makes a lot of enemies. Well, listen, I can definitely help you find him, but I've got problems of my own. Maybe we can do a trade. You need my help. There's something I need, too. All right. Um, what do you need? Novak, it's home for me now. I want that to be for good. I like it here, and I've left too many homes behind. But the only resource we got here is junk. Without that, people wouldn't have anything to trade. They'd all have to leave. We get most of it up the road from the old rocket test site, but a bunch of ghouls showed up one day and took it over. We can't get in there now. What needs to be done? Well, they gotta go, or this'll be a ghost town before long. Doesn't matter to me what you do. As long as the ghouls are out of there, that's good enough for me. Okay, I'll see what I can do. It'd mean a lot to me. Okay. Can I jump out of the... No. You can't jump out of the T-Rex's mouth. Damn it. Damn it. Okay. So we need to go... Gotta head to the Repcon facility. Let's get out of here. I thought maybe I could steal that from that first aid, but he's looking. He's looking. Okay. So now we get to go kill some ghouls. I got plenty of 9mm pistol ammo. I like this pistol. I like how it sounds and how it goes. It's not that strong, obviously, but I'm not on a super high difficulty, so I don't need to worry about DPS. But I like it. Alright. Shotgun. Oh, shit. Where is it? Oh, is it? Wait, which way is it? Oh, I need to select come fly with me. That was the issue. I gotta do come fly with me in order to get him to talk. Unless, I don't know how you else you would figure it out if you didn't want to help him. I don't know how you figure it. I guess you could talk to more people and maybe someone would help you, but I'm not sure. I think this is just probably the easiest route to help Manny. Uh, how far away is this? Uh, not too bad. I've got to figure out the best way up the mountain, though. Have you guys ever had, like, you know, I don't know, you feel like you have something in your throat, and even when, like, you drink something, it still feels like there's, like, something stuck in your throat? I have that right now. I feel like there's just something in my throat. I tried to, like, cough and see if I could cough it out. I don't know, cough it out or whatever, but it doesn't work. I don't know what it is. And there we go. I was like, oh god, let me up. Okay, I'm just gonna follow the road, I think. I'm gonna follow this wall, though, just in case. Just in case I get ambushed at any point, people above me from both sides won't be able to just wreck me. I 
Like, one thing I don't get, I don't get why they've, like, blocked this off. <laughs> I just don't get it. It doesn't really benefit them in any way. Like, there's a lot of areas with nothing, so it's not like they're... Like, it has to load some extra stuff. It already loaded it. But I don't know. I thought about doing, like, finding a Fallout 3, or Fallout New Vegas save editor, and having some fun with some different stuff, but then I just decided, eh... Why not just do the kind of fina the just do it uh, the re regular way? Sometimes with these older games, I mean, at a certain point, you've seen someone play through it the 100% legit way enough. It'd be kind of interesting to see someone play it in kind of a different way. That's just my thought. I don't know. It's kind of how I feel about Dark Souls. I kind of like when people use save editors sometimes. Like I'm going to do that. Oh shit! I don't know where I'm getting shot from. Is this him? Oh wait, wait. Oh, he is hostile. Smile, bitch. I'll take your rebar club. Okay, I don't know. I thought someone was shooting me, but I guess maybe not. So does that mean they're gonna be night cannon? Uh, I gotta slide down the mountain. Don't fall. Alright, that worked out well. Are you guys... You are hostile. Where? There we go. Down. Reload. Come on. Come on. There we go. Oh God. It's hard to loot these guys. When they're stacked up on each other. Alright. So I think the way in is just right through the front. And then there's the door. I see enemy. There we go. Oh shit. Oh, the one shot headshot. Bitch. Okay, into the Repcon facility. Got it. Over and out. Let's hope you do. Okay. Oh, nice. Hey, bitch. Um. Nothing I want there. Hey, hey, I'm trying to loot. I'm not going to worry about looting everybody, but I will loot, like, these guys, like, dead ghouls, because they have, like, guns on them and shit, so could benefit me from to loot them. Because it will take way too long to loot all of the ghouls that I got. And I just, I don't need, like, five bottle caps that bad. Okay, I think that's where I'm supposed to go. Um, maybe it's not where I was supposed to go. Oh well. Just doing a little exploring up here. Recharge rifle. So that's the thing where the ammo recharges, right? Okay, first aid. Wow, dirty water. Thanks a lot. Okay, I'm not even going to worry about picking up the regular set of grads. I just want the pack. It's over here. Oh, an easy door. Good thing I have 50 lockpick. What the hell? That was weird. My game, like, lagged. There we go. Ooh, a safe. Microfusion cells. Okay, let's do this. Let's crack this safe open. Yep. How did I know? I was like, I guarantee. I was thinking to myself, I like, I bet you go the opposite direction that it was to get in here. Oh, another easy door. Experience galore. Okay, 
I don't know where I'm supposed to be going exactly. I think it's over here. Oh, hey bitch. Wow, I'm hitting that stupid... Where's this dude at? I think he's through here. Yep, yep, I remember this. Bitch! Oh my god, I can't aim. There we go. Up to the top we go. I don't think it's over here. Alright, smooth skin. I'm letting you in. You better watch yourself. I'll sure as hell be watching you. Okay. Okay, to the research labs. I don't like being called smooth skin. It sounds God, but are you ugly? Get upstairs and talk to Jason before I throw up just from looking at you. Where can I find Jason? No need to tell this guy he's not actually a ghoul. The great one can be found upstairs. Don't think about wasting his time. He's very important. You should feel lucky to be granted some of his time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, time to head upstairs. Up SARS. Key required. Very easy lockpick. Oh, Jason. Hello, Wanderer. Please forgive us our humble surroundings. Our true home awaits us in the far beyond. Have you come to help us complete the great journey? No, but... What's the deal with the human that let me in? You're referring to Chris. I doubt you had much luck if you tried telling him that he's human. We had the same discussions when he first appeared, and the same lack of success. He believes he is one of us. Soon enough we realized that Chris was a gift from the Creator. He is integral to the success of the Great Journey. Alright, what's the Great Journey? We wish to escape the barbarity of the Wasteland. Especially the violence and bigotry of its human inhabitants. The Creator has promised to my flock a new land. A place of safety and healing. A paradise in the far beyond. Preparations for the Great Journey were nearly complete when the demons appeared. Tell me more about these demons. The demons appeared from nowhere. Except it might be more accurate to say they never actually appeared at all. The demons are invisible. Where one of them stands, the most one sees is the air shimmering like sunlight on water. They set upon us as we were on our way to worship one morning. We had just entered the basement. My flock fought bravely and killed a few, but at such cost. Nearly half of us died or went missing. The rest of us retreated up here. One of the demons raved at us, but they have not tried to attack us since. So he's talking Still, about Nightkin. Their demonic presence brought all progress towards the great journey to a standstill. But now you have come. Once again, the Creator has sent a human to help us across a seemingly insurmountable obstacle. You say one of the demons raved at you? Yes, over the intercom. Threats of death should we step outside. Guarantees of safety should we stay locked away. It went on for hours, and did not always make sense. But that was the first day only. Since then, silence. Will you drive away the demons, Wanderer? Yeah, 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 I'll take care of them. Praise the Creator. Bless you, Wanderer. Bless us all. As soon as the underground has been rid of demons, preparations for the great journey can resume. Alright. So now I have the Repcon basement key, so I need to get rid of the Nightkin. So we'll get to the basement, um, wherever that is, and then I'll call it an episode, and we'll kill the Nightkin in the next episode.
It'll be time to destroy some nightkin. All right, down we go. Oh, I didn't search this guy. He's got a recharge rifle. Oh my, I don't, I don't even know what to call this. It's just like game lag. It's not disc lag, because I don't have a disc. Oh, hey, buddy. What? He just hit me from like 50 feet away. You're a one-shot headshot, bitch. Oh, 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 oh! Bitch! Okay, uh, is it a, it's over here, yeah. Here's one, here's a nightkin. He's got a stealth boy on him. Oh, there was another nightkin. I might as well loot that while I have it open. So is this the basement right here, I think? Yeah, this is the basement. Alrighty, guys. That's going to do it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. The next one, we'll be going to kill some Nightkin. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll catch you guys then. Peace out.